A Chicago businessman found guilty of bribing two state lawmakers. That's right. A federal jury delivered the verdict this afternoon. Christine Flores is live at the Dirksen Federal Building with those details. Hi, Christine. Oh, good evening. Weiss was found guilty um, on all counts. Now, they include charges of bribery, mail fraud, wire fraud, and lying to the FBI. Now, the jury, which was made up of seven women and five men, deliberated for about five hours. Now, this trial went on for about two weeks. James Weiss and his team of attorneys opted not to make a comment as they were leaving the courtroom this afternoon following the guilty verdict. Weiss, who had pleaded not guilty, is accused of allegedly wanting the Illinois gambling expansion bill to include the legalization of sweepstakes machines to benefit his gaming company. The 44-year-old is also the son-in-law of Joseph Berrios, former assessor and chairman of the Cook County Democratic Party. These are gaming machines that accept cash and provide a voucher which can be redeemed for merchandise online. However, since the machines can be played for free, they are not considered slots as a regular gambling machine would. Also named in the indictment filed in October of 2020 is former state representative Luis Arroyo. He's accused of receiving bribes from Weiss in exchange for support of the gaming legislation. According to court documents, Arroyo failed to report those payments to state regulators. The indictment also alleges a pair conspired to pay $2,500 a month to state Senator Terry Link in 2019 for support of the proposed gaming legislation. Link testified that he was cooperating with the FBI in an undercover role in hopes of receiving a break in his own federal tax conviction. All of the recordings were played out in court and submitted as evidence. We spoke with a juror who deliberated on the case. There were some pretty specious arguments. There was uh, at one point something about the difference between uh, coincidence and correlation, which I found to be a pretty grade school type argument. Um, it's pretty clear just from the things that were provable by recordings and other evidence that um, Mr. Weiss was not going to get all of this. Now, it is important to note that in this bribery case, uh, Royal was sentenced to 57 months in prison last May. He is scheduled to be released in June of 2026. Now, as for Weiss, his sentencing has been set for October 11th at 1.30. Reporting live from the federal building, Christine Flores, WGN News.